Um, lots of you getting in touch already this morning. Really interesting and contrasting views on Arsenal's performance yesterday. Um, for example, this one from Tommy. If Jose Conte, etc. did the same thing Arteta did yesterday, it would be called anti-football. Arteta murdered football yesterday, but some reporters call it a masterclass. Trapattoni. Go and have a look at the games when he was managing Italy and managed Republic of Ireland. 4-4-2, sit back, parasite football. Mm-hmm. We just pinch uh, or we score from a set play, we win 1-0. So yesterday, Arteta has gone to Man City. We can't lose. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to open up. We'll try and beat them on set plays because they're top of the league on, in, on getting on the end of corners and free kicks. We've got a big team. And I'll give it 10 minutes to go. And if we haven't scored, it's nil-nil. I'll try and pinch it. And he yeah. nearly did. Well, Trossard yes. got through. Was... Martinelli come on. So I, I'm, I know what you're saying. It's anti-football. And I know what Graham Souness would say, because I've been with him a long time. Mm-hmm. You can't win anything unless you get control of the ball in most games. So you, you take the ball to the mm. opposition, mm. with the exception of Leicester, when they won the league, which is a, a one-off, when they just sat back and counter-attacked. But... That's what they done yesterday. He's got a point. And he obviously seen that as a way to win in the league. It was all part of the plan. Well, Mark, uh, Arsenal fan, says the bias against Arsenal is inc- uh, absolutely incredible. If your team comes to the Emirates and shuts up shop, Arsenal get blamed and say it's the home team's job to change what Arsenal were doing. They're boring and negative, etc. Uh, also, he says, let's try and remember that Arsenal had more shots than City on target. And that's true uh, in the end. And also Andy and Chichester are saying, best centre forward in the, ha- in the world, Erling Haaland. Didn't have a kick in the game against Arsenal. In both games, in fact. How about a bit of credit where it is due? Yeah, um, he I looks, think we all he looks off Arsenal form. credit, in all fairness. Well, yeah, I mean, he's, he, you look at the front three when he's had uh, Havertz up there or Jesus up the middle and Saka and Martinelli. Martinelli and Saka, I thought this season's going to be tough for you. People know that you're going to come inside, but they've worked that out. They've, mm-hmm. they've got round it. Ben White's helped him. They've signed Declan Rice, who, so they're never going to be like a sieve. Declan stands in the middle of the pitch. You go and attack. I'll cover the back door. The two centre halves are quick and big and strong. They took care of Haaland yesterday. I mean, I, I I played when I played in the Premier League. You'd come up against Rio Ferdinand. He thinks quicker than you. He's stronger than you and runs quicker than you. No disrespect. We play against Norwich a week later, and the centre half's not as quick as me. Doesn't think as quick as me, and I'd get in and score. But against Rio, the best defenders, mm-hmm. you wouldn't get a sniff. You have to wait for one chance. He never got... The, well, he got half a chance, didn't he, Haaland? Mm, he does look yeah. off form, but strikers are like that. You mentioned Haaland then, in the sense of not looking at his best. I'm sure you heard what Roy Keane had to say about him after the after the game, <laughs> likening him to a League Two striker. <laughs> I mean, what, what do you think he means by that? And is, he, is that right? Is that fair to call someone <laughs> who broke records last season and maybe not having the, the same standard of season but he's was he not still the top scorer he, he makes you laugh Roy Keane doesn't he I mean you, you watch him and you know it's, you can see it coming especially about Man United but he's trying to think of something bad and, and League 2 come out of his mouth he's gone like I mean he's gone when he's, when he's missed the ball there <laughs> I can't do that oh, you're giving the it a go there. there he looks he looks like a League 2 player well, because it went under his foot, didn't it? Mm. It's the type of thing that would happen in a in a League Two game where <laughs> the ball's gone across the face of the goal and it's gone on under the centre forward's foot. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> a mistake mm. like that, you don't expect it to happen to Haaland. But I mean, we we've, we've all been there. I've missed open goals. Roy's Roy's missed open goals. You can't believe you've missed it till after it's happened. You know how have I missed that? Um, and he'll be thinking that. But the two centre backs are good. Gabriel Saliba. You know, you wouldn't want to play against them two. They're both quick, they're yeah. both determined. Yeah. It's like Martin Keown. I used to hate playing against Martin. Mm. It's like a rash. You know, you couldn't shrug him off. And most of all, at this level, it's who switches off. Speed of thought. The higher up you go, it's speed of thought. Michael Owen, speed of thought, off the mark. He's thought about it before you have, and he's gone. And Haaland's like that, but Saliba and Gabriel, they're quick thinkers as well. So that's why it was a... It was like a nil-nil draw, wasn't it? Because they've snubbed him out. Mm. Well, he hasn't scored in his last three for Manchester City. He's still <laughs> scored. This is his season in general. So, obviously, you're bringing um, all competitions into this, including Norway as well. He scored 32 goals. Yeah. It's going quite you formidable. Can't... But it, you're saying he looked a bit off it. Has he looked a little bit off it in the last few games or was it just this one game because Arsenal made it so difficult for him? Well, 
you look at Harry Kane, the way he comes deep, and everybody says, you're coming too deep, Harry, you're coming out of the box, mm. you should be staying in the box. Haaland's been told, stay in the box, stay in between the sticks, it's post to post. Sometimes he's watching the game. Foden, Silva, they're like De Bruyne, they're all playing around him, and he's waiting for the final pass or the final cross. Now, if you look at it yesterday, how many times have you seen him across from the byline from Kyle Walker? He gets in between the fullback on the opposite side and the centre-back and heads it in like a man mountain. Yesterday, he had about four opportunities to do that, but Saliba and Gabriel are both six foot five, both strong, grabbed hold of him, marked him properly, so he couldn't get a run and a jump. Mm. So, well done to them two. They've done the job. Um, they've gone for a nil-nil and got one. Yeah, as I say, lots of views coming into us this, this morning. Thank you very much for all your texts. Uh, Ash is a Newcastle fan, says Arsenal were well, the better team first half. They attacked more than Manchester City. I just think City were poor they didn't. yesterday. No, you're not no, going with that. they didn't. They sat back all the way through the game and they broke out occasionally. And sometimes you get more chances doing that, mm -hmm. but they didn't take the game to Man City. Man City took the game to them Yeah, and Arsenal broke out from that shape. Well, we had a message in here as well saying ultimately the most important thing was to not lose and we achieve that people may, may well be slating us but we got what we wanted we'll see the at the end of the season you look back and go that that performance at man city won them the league you might be saying that yeah well it is liverpool though who are top it, arsenal second they are two points behind and city uh, three further points behind the league leaders